Welcome back into the final game between Indiana University and Ross Holman Institute of Technology. Now, this third game is going to be our 2v2 game in the series. It could be... It's going to be between Rev Warrior and Ace, who play for Indiana University, and Atheros and Thulu, who play for... Who do they play for? For Rose Holman Institute of Technology. Now, it's going to be a PZ versus a TZ. And... Once again, Red Warrior and Ace play for... Uh, oh my god, I cannot speak. This is so sad. Both of these players play for Indiana University. And... The Rose Holman Institute of Technology players are Atheros and well that's Atheros and Thulu. Now Rose Holman this the Terran players for, for, uh, the Terran player for Rose Holman Institute of Technology has decided to wall in and I guess Indiana University's Protoss player has decided to do the same. I'm not completely sure about it. Now, we see a, a really quick spawning pool. Well, I mean gas. And spawning pool. Oh, what's this? For. There we go, he corrected it. No, never mind. What? What is he doing? Oh, his rally is set to his. Gas. That's really bad. He has corrected it finally. That's a early blunder. Okay, now we see Thulu getting two barracks. While the what are they doing? What is Indiana University doing? The spawning pool is about to be completed. I say metabolic boost. Oh, perfect timing. Excellent timing. So metabolic boost has been. Big started. We see a ping going down, signaling Ace that there is an SCV in his base, and the SCV just begins to scout, and I think it wants to fall off as it was rallied into a lava. Anyways, those circles should be able to clean it up, and that SCV is pretty much dead. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. Oh, yes it is. The Zilla takes out the SCV. Now, what's this? Is this going to be a 4 gate? Yeah, 4 gate for coming out from Indiana University. While we see an, a third barracks being built by, by, um, by Ross Holman Institute of Technology. Now, a macro hatch? What? A macro hatch. Okay. Uh, Alright, I guess. So, yeah. As I was saying, a macro hatch by Rose Holman Institute of Technology. I would have actually preferred it to, to be in the expansion. But okay, works too. Now this... Oh, what's this? Indiana University actually has circling speed. This is good. Please pause. And exact, I guess they paused. Have they paused? There we go, Nairman. There we go, the influx of the chat. The game was paused. And once again, Rev Warrior is actually signaling his partner from Indiana University that he's building the proxy pylon, so he should rally the Overlord over there to give him vision of the upper ground. And this is an excellent strategy. Now he's w waiting for the warping. And there are a lot of circlings for for Indiana University at the same time that there are a lot of circlings for for Rose Holman Institute of Technology no this these are also a lot of Marines oh my god this is going to be an intense engagement especially because the circlings are running a lot now we see the engagement going down oh the circlings get a little bit of sur surround on those marines enough to take them out 
and all of all of Bruce Willman's forces have basically died. No, they should go back. They shouldn't engage. Yes, that's right. Oh my God. No, their engagement and the Marines are in only move command. And that's more units that they can take on. And finally, he spot has he has spotted his error and has begun to move out. No, at the same time we see three zealots that have been warped in into the main. And a third GG saying Thulu GG's and Indiana University takes the series.